All right, here we go. years ago, I was 23 years old, uh, expecting my first child. Uh, we were very excited to be expecting that family. We were unable to find out if we were having a boy or a girl, so we were also anxious to find out if we should welcome a, welcoming a daughter or a son. I had a pretty uneventful pregnancy um, on January 4th, two weeks before my due date. I went for a relative routine office visit. My doctor did an ultrasound just as a precaution to see how much the baby weighed. During the ultrasound, he found that I had a very low amount of amniotic fluid around the baby. This, he felt, was a reason to go ahead and induce labor. I was in labor for uh, 14 hours, and we welcomed my son, Drew. We were unaware that immediately after birth, Drew required oxygen for a short period of time. Although his milestone development was a little delayed, we were not aware of the extent of his disability until he entered kindergarten. Once he was in kindergarten, he was officially identified with infantile cerebral palsy. And our journey through the special education system began. It was a very complicated and overwhelming process to undertake. I feel that a parent contact would have made this experience much easier. The education of students with special needs is an overwhelming process. Since its inception in 1947, the special education system has changed significantly. According to Special Education News, the history of special education in the United States, in the early years of the system, it was put into place so that students with disabilities could be educated in public school systems. In today's system, each child with an identified disability as an individualized education plan, or IEP. This is put into place uh, concerning their specific needs uh, for education. Parent involvement is crucial to the education or success of these students. There are many ways parents can get involved in their child's education. They can attend meetings with educators. They can partner with teachers and educators to individualize their child's educational plan. They can also become involved by understanding their rights and their child's rights concerning the special education system. Parent liaisons can help bridge the gap between parents and educators. Parent li liaisons are trained to understand the laws and regulations concerning special education. Parent liaisons forge confidential relationships with parents of children with disabilities. Parent liaisons can help parents ensure the success of their special needs child. Parent liaisons uh, engage parents uh, in their child's education. According to the U.S. Department of Education, parent involvement is crucial to the educational success of a special needs child. Parents are more likely to become involved with their child's education if they have a personal contact with Personal liaisons can help with parents and educators navigate this complicated system. They can help with ever-changing laws and regulations involving the special education system. They can help build successful relationships with educators and parents. They can help students with disabilities receive the most of their um, public education. In conclusion, the education of students with disabilities can be a very complicated process. Sometimes parents can find it difficult to navigate the system to help their child become successful. School systems can bridge this gap between parents and educators with a parent liaison. These liaisons can help forge relationships between parents and educators to ensure the success of students with disabilities as they did my son. Growing up, he has uh, since graduated from school, graduated from high school, and is working on um, a vocation, and hopefully will live independently.